guys how are you guys doing um how is your halloween and um yeah let me know if you guys are tr going trick-or-treating even though um coronavirus is still coming around but anywho how are you how are you guys doing hello I hope you guys had a great Halloween. So, um, just in case you guys are wondering what I am for Halloween, I am, I'm actually Belle, but, look, 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 see that? These are sweats. So, Technically, I am Quarantine Belle for Halloween. <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, imagine, like, what Belle would be doing during quarantine right now. She would literally be sitting on the couch in her sweatpants reading books. <laughs> yeah. Belle is one of my favorite um, Disney princesses, and um, she... And, you know, Bill and I have, um, one thing in common, and it's that we love, we both love to read, so, um, yeah. Okay, anyways, I'm not here to talk about Disney princesses or Halloween. <laughs> I am here to talk about something really exciting that I'm, that I'm gonna be participating in. So, um... If you have seen my uh, cover of Praying, um, you might, might have seen that I made an announcement um, at the end of the video, but um, basically, I am participating in Nano NaNoWriMo! So, for those of you who are like, wow, what is, what is NaNoWriMo? So, NaNoWriMo is an acronym for National Novel Writing Month. And it goes from November 1st through November 30th. And the goal is to get to 50,000 words by the end of November, which means um, we have to write 1,667 words a day. Which, and, you know, writing... 50,000 words by the end of November. That's that's a big goal. So, um, yes, I'm really excited to do this. It's my first time doing it, so I'm really excited. And the project that I'm working on for this NaNoWriMo is... So, I've been working on this project for a few months, for the past few months, but then I got into... Uh, a writing slump. So, um, basically, the name of this project is No Room for Very Tall Trees. Um, it's about, um, this girl who struggles to fit in to her school, um, because, um, she has Turner Syndrome, which is a condition um, where girls are missing, um, missing one X chromosome or part, part of an X chromosome. Um, but, um, and that causes their height, which is why, which makes, makes them short. And, um, the inspiration for that story, <laughs> um, actually came from, uh, a little bit of Tall Girls, well, Tall Girl, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, it's about the girl, a girl who, um, is being bullied because, um, she was tall and she wants a tall boy to like her, but, um, anyways, um, so that was inspired by, a, a little bit by Tall Girl, but it was also inspired by, um, this girl that I, um, have been watching on YouTube, um, and 
she was in a band with her sisters. Um, her name is Amy Cimarelli. Amy Cimarelli. Um, she has Turner Syndrome as well. But, um, anyways. So, more about the character is that she wants to be a motivational speaker. But she felt like nobody could listen to her and nobody would, like, nobody would believe her because, because like, they, they've been making fun of her because she was short. So, um, um, yeah, and she has to gain a lot of self-confidence and, um, and she has to accept herself. So, that was my project. So, I'm going to show you some things that I have been doing to um, prep for this um, NaNoWriMo. Um, while I was prepping for this, I, I was also doing some prep courses and I've been editing my story, which is basic, basically not the point of NaNoWriMo, but um, yeah. So, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I've been prepping, so let's get right into it. So, the important thing about NaNoWriMo is that you gotta keep track of how many days you write um, for um, this next month, because... Um, NaNoWriMo, um, basically you, for NaNoWriMo, you, you're supposed to write 1,667 words a day, um, so, um, it's kind of important to have a calendar so that you, you are keeping track of, um, your goals and your, um, And how many words you've written that day. So, this is my NaNoWriMo calendar. So basically, um, for each column, I just put goals. And I put the number of that goal. So, um, yeah, and... Um, and then in the top corner are the total words, so basically below it I'll put how many words I've written in, a to in total. So, yes, um, yeah, that was my NaNoWriMo calendar that I made, so, um, yeah, alright. Um, I'm gonna show you this next thing. That I that I've prepped while I was prepping for um, NaNoWriMo, so yeah. So, like I said um, before, I showed you guys my calendar. Um, Nan, it's basically important to um, keep track of um, of what you're doing. And keep track of how many words you've written in a day and um, see if there are any um, events um, happening. Um, and keep track of everything that you do. So um, I made this NaNoWriMo planner. Um, so basically this is what it looks like. Um, it's kind of hard, it's a, it's a bit hard to see because, um, I ri I made this in permanent marker, and, um, so it's, and so it bleeds, um, through the pages, but basically, at the bottom here, again, I have my goals, my, my goal and the number of words that I should be writing, and the total for how many words I've written 
that day. And, um, and I will be writing in this, um, if I have, um, a school assignment due or, um, any tasks that I need to do. So, um, this will be helpful for me. So, yeah. All right. On to the next thing. So, most of you guys don't know this, but, um... I'm actually a college student, college student, so, um, you know, doing this NaNoWriMo and doing school, it's really hard to balance between both, so, um, it's kind of important that, um, I make a schedule for myself. So, this is my NaNoWriMo schedule, so basically, I made a goal that I'm gonna wake up at 5 30 a.m. and then I'm gonna and then at 6 I'm gonna start on my school on my school work and um at 7 I'm gonna make breakfast and then at 7 30 I'm gonna start right doing some writing prompts and pep talks um to kind of get me inspired and then I'll and then at um, 8 o'clock, I will start, um, watching YouTube videos for only 30 minutes, and I will set an alarm for me to, um, for when, I, for when I should start, start writing, and then, um, I'll, and then at 8.30, I'll start writing, and then 30, and then in an, in an hour, I will take a break, and so on and so on. And these sticky notes here are some of the arrangements that um that I made for my schedule schedule because um I forgot to include them in my schedule. But um yes. So that was my schedule for NaNoWriMo. So yeah. So basically I'm planning on waking up early so that um I can get my schoolwork out of the way and that I can get my NaNoWriMo stuff done. So yeah, all right. Now on to the next thing. So with NaNoWriMo, it's it's important to keep track of how many words you're you're writing. Um, and a day, but it's also important to keep track of how many words you've written in an hour. So basically, I made this, um, NaNoWriMo word tracker. Um, so basically, this is what it looks like. Here are the numbers, number of hours, and this slot here are, um is the time, like what time I started writing, and then the words I've written, and what are my hourly words here, and then, um, this slot here is for, um, breaks that I've taken. So, um, yeah, that was my NaNoWriMo word tracker, so, um, so that I can track my words. Um, that I've, that I'm writing each hour. Um, I don't think I would write, um, 12 hours straight. Um, we'll see. But, um, yeah, so, yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna move on to the, ne to the next thing. Okay, so, um, when we're doing... So when you're doing NaNoWriMo, you will also see lots of YouTuber, lots of author tubers, <laughs> um, doing um these um writing sprints. But um, for those of you who don't know what a writing sprint is, it's basically a timed writing session where um basically you were you were given a set amount, set amount of time for, um, these writing sprints. Basically how, 
how fast you can write, um, and how fast you can get, and how many words you can, and how many words you can get in that amount of time, so, um, so this is my writing sprint, work, writing sprint, sprint tracker, um, so, Basically, right here, this is going to be my number of writing sprints and how many minutes I'm given and how many words I've written um, during these writing sprints. So, um, yeah, um, I thought that I would um, do some writing sprints because those look really fun, so, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys... My laptop because there are some things that I've prepped on there too so yeah I'm gonna all right so let's get to the laptop all right so this is my outline these are my plot ideas um so I can and I'm made this months ago so that way I can keep track of my story and where my score where my story is going so um yeah and this is not all of it um like if this is all of my like this is these are like sticky notes from the sticky note app that I've used on my laptop but like the that's not all of my outline um because it would take up the whole computer well all of these are taking up the whole entire computer um so yeah this is my um outline so yeah this is how i um outline my stories just writing down some of the plot ideas um, so that I can see where my story is going, and I can keep track of it, so, yeah. Um, and I have a little few to, to write down, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna work on that, um, tonight, a little bit after trick-or-treating with my friends, so, um, yeah. So I did not realize that I did not show you guys my, um, the cover of my book. But basically this is what it looks like. Um, it's very cute, huh? Like, I love, like, my name up there and then, um, the title here and I love the font. And, oh my gosh, I'm really obsessed with this co cover. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is what my cover looks like, just in case you guys are wondering. But yeah. So the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is my um, soundtrack. My um, Spotify playlist. This is not even my playlist, but I listen to the This Is Us uh, soundtrack um, on Spotify. And the reason why I listen to... Um... This is us on uh Spotify is because um I um because it um gets my brain going and also um it um it's basically kind of contemporary um, so, I like to listen to this type of content, the contemporary, um, music, um, so, yeah, and then this next, in this other playlist is, um, my, um, is this one, so basically, this story is about, um, confidence boosting, so, well, it, since my, 
this book is about um my character trying to um be confident in herself um and because this book is about self confidence i put some uh confidence boost songs there so basically i have perfect try be kind beautiful firework girl on fire roar just like fire, who says, brave, scars to your beautiful, I love me, raise your glass, who you are, broken and beautiful, rise, this is me, titanium, wiser, and skyward. So basically, that's why it's called Songs That Represent My Story. It's because it kind of, it really represents my story, like it's about, um, this character who is trying to be confident with herself and um and trying to accept herself. So, um yeah, that's my playlist. And these are the type of music that I listen to when I'm when I'm writing. And last but not certainly at least well last but certainly not least, I this is my NaNoWriMo writing prompts and pep talks um, document. Um, so basically, for each day, I'm going to do a writing prompt and write down some of the pep talks. Um, and again, it kind of it helps me to exercise my writing. It kind of helps me to warm up a bit and it helps me to get inspired. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing this every day that I wake up in the morning and get my school stuff done and, um, eat breakfast and do all this. So, um, yeah, that's my, um, that's my, um, document. And that's all that I can show you on my laptop. So, yeah. And the one thing that I want to show you guys, um, before I end this video, um, so recently I went to Bath and Body Works and I, I really like to go there just to smell their candles and their perfumes and their, um, lotions and their hand creams and all that. I just love their scents and, um, so, basically... I bought this candle. Um this is the pumpkin pecan waffles um candle. So hang on. Sorry. I gotta put the camera down so that I can open this. But basically this candle smells so good. I haven't used it yet, but um I certainly will when I um when I'm writing or reading or I'm working on my school stuff, but it smells amazing, you guys. Oh, let me tell you, I just love smelling um, Bath and Body Works um, candles. So, yeah. And I forgot, I also forgot to mention that um, my project, about my project, um, No Room for Very Tall Trees, um, that was the project that I am currently working on on Wattpad. Um, so, um, yeah, and I'm still working on it, but I, but again, I got into this writing slump. So, um, you know, maybe doing NaNoWriMo would help me get out of that writing slump. But, um, yeah, anyways... That is my video, and I'm really excited about um, NaNoWriMo. And for those of you who have been on my channel for um, for my covers and my music and stuff, I just want you to know that um, I am not I'm not gonna stop singing. I'm not gonna stop posting covers. Um, and I'm not gonna stop posting videos. I will be posting vlogs 
of my NaNoWriMo writing experience, but I'm not, like, I'm not be, but I'm, I'm not gonna stop writing, I'm, well, <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna stop writing, but also, I'm not gonna stop singing, and I'm not gonna stop doing covers for you guys, I will still do that, um, <clears throat> it's just this month I will be taking a break from cover so that I can conquer NaNoWriMo, but, um, you guys will see, uh, see me doing a Christmas cover in December, so, um, just keep that in mind, so, yeah, just, just know that I still love to sing, okay, just know that I still love to sing, but, um, what I really love most is writing, so, um, yeah, um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited for NaNoWriMo. Um, if you guys are excited for NaNoWriMo, let me know and also give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you're working on and, um, and what are the things that you do, that you guys do to prep. And, um, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you guys are new here, um, this is my first time doing auth author tube, so this is kind of interesting, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, so subscribe to me, um, click on the bell so that you guys don't miss any of my videos, um, so I'm gonna be posting a vlog for me, a vlog for NaNoWriMo every single day. So, um, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Alright, remember, wear a mask because, you know, I, I, I see Gaston around, around town, and he doesn't wear a mask, so, you know, make sure that you wear your mask so that you don't follow Gaston's example. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay happy, stay safe, and stay cool.